They are spastics. They come to a special day school in Bristol, Claremont. Some people ask, what's the point? What can be done for them? Well, we're going to show you. Show you what has been done in just three years. Don't expect the impossible. Progress can never be easy. This was Susan three years ago. By herself, she couldn't even sit up. Now, thanks to early treatment, two years at the children's hospital, and two years here at Claremont, she's reached this, the first stage on the long road to walking. Three years ago, Peter had to write like this. Today, here he is, thanks to physiotherapy and a year's practice with a special thick pencil. Now look at Catherine sitting beside him. Three years ago, this was the best she could do. Today she's been taught to control those erratic movements, like this. The greater the handicap, the tougher the struggle. Progress is seldom startling. But there is a difference between Anne as she was. And Anne as she is. Three years ago, you would never have understood what she was saying. Now you can just begin to. Listen to her reading to Claremont's headmistress. Mary was more severely handicapped. So right from the start, she was helped to find ways round her difficulties. Today she's still badly handicapped, but she's much less helpless. Here she's offering a local firm advertising space in the school magazine. Attachments like these have been specially designed to help her lead as normal a life as possible. There's a fully equipped flat at the school, and domestic science is a very popular subject. It's good to find you can do things you thought you never would. But the main ambition of many of Claremont's children is to walk. Three years ago, he'd reached this far. Today, here he is. Stimulated by this improvement, he's happier and more alert. Peggy could get along like this. Now she's progressed to this. Silver here was a gift from the donkey man at Weston. Here's what Peg thinks of him. Silver's a bit slow. He won't go like a racehorse, but he will go. John had to be shown a new way to get around. Now, helped by his brother, he puts what he's learnt to practical use. It's become part of his everyday life. Once in the water, he experiences a new freedom. The adults, you see, are mostly members of a local swimming club who give up part of their Saturday evenings to make this possible. Charlie as he was, badly needing help. Charlie as he is, eager to help others. Nowadays, 
he can play a full part in the life of the school. Chris, three years ago. Since then, he has been treated with a muscle relaxing drug. Chris, today. I start off just by standing a little in physio and taking a few steps and so on till I can do it properly now. Well, not properly, but. We are making these things for an end of term sale so that we can send some money to Oxford Committee for Camera Relief. And we started off by making the things which took us a very long time, sewing it up and then printing it. And when we finished, we sold it one afternoon and it very quickly went. Yes. You know what the Oxford Committee do with the money? Yes, would they send it fairly to homes where these refugees and people are, and then they go towards food and clothes for them. Here's Barbara, as she is now. She's been transferred to the neighbouring infant school for ordinary children. A change only possible because of the care she received here three years ago and the close cooperation of her school and home. After a year of crawling, she learnt to walk, and now she joins in all the activities of ordinary children. Here she is. Three years ago, Rose was beginning to take her first steps. She took her 11 plus exam, and now she's at Redmaids, one of the city's most famous grammar schools. At Claremont, she had learnt to write like this. Now her headmistress says she refuses to be left out of anything. Another boy who's been transferred is Dick. I asked him a rather pointed question. Did you see the last film? Yes. Yes. Do you like it? Um, yes. You sound a bit doubtful. What didn't you like? Some people might think that, that, we, did, that we did not do on English and arithmetic. To satisfy Dick, Let's make it clear that they do do English and arithmetic and all the usual school subjects. Some children, like Susan, have to leave Claremont without ever becoming independent, despite prolonged treatment. For them, a newly opened work centre provides simple but useful factory work in a happy atmosphere. They like coming to work. It helps them feel like other people. They get a wage packet too even if it only amounts to pocket money. Peter used to walk only on the tips of his toes. Now look at him. He too has been transferred to another school, but he returns to Claremont twice a week for physiotherapy. So now we're back where we started, with this little girl and the people who ask, has she a future? Can anything be done? 